Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. I'm bringing you another Photoshop tutorial here, and this time it's how to change the color of a picture, of an object on a picture, uh, on general, on whatever you want. Um, and for example, you have a picture of your friend wearing a shirt, and you want to change the color of the shirt. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It works on any picture, uh, any color. Um, and we're going to be doing this in Photoshop. The version doesn't really matter since this feature has been around since a few versions now. So your versions will, your version of Photoshop will probably work. I'm currently working on CS4. I also have CS5, but I'm not really familiar with it yet. So I'll stay. I'll stick to CS4 for this tutorial. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, how do you want to replace the color? There's a great feature in Photoshop which makes this extremely easy. Um, if you go on your tools panel right here on the left by default, except if you change that, if you go to your brush tool, you have your brush tool, which is obviously uh, you choose a color right here in your foreground color, and uh, whatever color you choose, it's going to brush over the picture. So that's not really what we're looking for. Uh, and then we have, if you right click on your brush tool, we have three different options or two extra options basically we have the brush tool which we just had by default uh, your pencil tool which is obviously a pencil and the color replacement tool that's what we're going to be using um, so go ahead and select the color replacement tool and at this point there are a few options here first of all your brush size option which is obviously all dependent on the size of your picture so that's up to you I mean you won't be needing that but I always put the hardness to 100% uh, which I think it's the easiest to uh, replace the color quickly and then uh, if you want to replace the color you're gonna go ahead and use the mode color and for other things like saturation for example you want to make a, a certain spot you want to make it black and white while well, you can use saturation hue, lum uh, luminosity but we're basically gonna focus on the color then you have three options basically sampling uh, continuously sampling once and sa uh, color swatch sampling so if you take the first option, which is continuous sampling, uh, it's basically going to every time take a color and color over it. So wherever you're going to go, it's going to uh, make it blue. So again, not really interesting because we want to really make only one thing uh, change in color, in this case the flower. Um, so then we want to take, uh, what we're going to use is the sample once. Um, option and then the third one uh, just a quick ex explanation about the third one background swatch sampling well it's really easy uh, your background color for example I'm taking this yellow here will um, become your foreground color so whatever you choose here if you choose go with red uh, everything that's going to be yellow it's going to become red so the leaf uh, the green leaf obviously does not become becoming yellow I mean red because it's green so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, we're going to be using the sampling once and then the limit to continuous. And this, the tolerant, really all depends on your picture. If your picture has a really high different in contrast, you're going to put it, uh, you can put the tolerance pretty high. Uh, I mean, this is up to you how much uh, it will tolerate in difference in color. So to get to the point, uh, we want to take the sunflower and make it another color. So we're going to choose the color we want to change it to. So I'm going to make a, this kind of blue color. Obviously, a blue sunflower doesn't really exist, but uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial. And once you click, since we're in the sampling once option here, so now when you click on the picture uh, once, it's going to record the color you clicked it on first. So it's going to remind that color. So for example, I click it on this yellow of the flower. Uh, it's gonna now color everything that has this same kind of yellow with a tolerance at 31% as you can see on the screen so it's gonna color everything that is basically yellow because that's the first color I sampled so for example if I go on the leaf here it won't color it again uh, and if I go wherever else if I go on this green part it's not gonna color it it's only gonna color uh, all the yellow parts with a tolerance again of 31% so about a lot of different yellows obviously it doesn't need to be exactly the same yellow so I'm gonna go over 
the whole thing and maybe you want to make even your brush a bit uh, bigger since um, I mean you can make a lot of mistakes you can go wherever you want on the screen and it's it's not gonna make any mistakes it's not gonna go over it since it's only gonna color uh, color the part that is yellow so it's really easy which makes it really easy to to uh, replace the color of whatever picture uh, you're replacing it on and uh, for those little extras here, as you see, the edges are not perfect. Um, those, li those little edges. You want to zoom in on those if you really want to make it perfect. Uh, on this tutorial, I'm not going to take like all the time, uh, but it's mainly to show you. If you want to make this, uh, for example, these parts, you want to also make them blue. Just go back to your color replacement tool and um, just make your brush smaller so it kind of fits in there and sample another color and just color over that so I'm gonna color over that so obviously I'm not doing it perfectly here but it pretty much works at this point uh, for this picture at least so I'm gonna just cover quickly the edges right there as well Okay, so I'm not going to go over the whole picture, but as you can see, it works pretty well since we do have this blue shadow and it still remains blue. Um, so obviously, for this flower, uh, it looks okay, but it doesn't look really good since uh, sunflower is obviously supposed to be yellow, so it's already kind of cliche. Uh, but you can do this on any picture. For example, we have the shirt of somebody, green shirt, and you have a pattern on it or something on it, and you don't want it uh, to to be affected by the color change so for example I want to make this green I want to make it red for example I want it to be a red shirt although I still want this to remain white uh, the things in the middle so I'm just gonna go take uh, a bit of the green and I'm just gonna go over that and as you can see everything that is white uh, will not be covered basically so you can go over. If you go slower, it will actually cover all those little letters. As you can see, it doesn't always cover the letters. But if you go slowly over it, it will. And uh, then you just, well, finish the shirt. I'm just going to do this really quickly. And as you can see, it only colors the shirt. It won't color the white uh, that is on the shirt. And you might want to keep this little part green and make you make your brush a little smaller and sample this green and go over here in in this part and make this this green um, red obviously this takes a little more time but it does work if you go slowly make the eyes red and stuff like that uh, I'm not gonna go over the whole picture here but uh, you kind of get what I mean I hope um, so again, it's a really easy feature and it really helps a lot and a lot of people don't know about it. So uh, definitely be sure to check out that feature and um, it would look pretty uh, pretty awesome. What I recommend is you do all in one click and just keep holding your click because otherwise you get those lines, which you obviously don't really want. So if I go back to the normal green shirt and just keep on clicking and never actually re releasing my click, it's going to look definitely a bit nicer. It's gonna really look red basically so there you go I did it really quickly obviously I should have got slower I'll go over this part slower uh, but it does work out as you can see it kind of worked out um, so this is the color replacement tool and it's a really nifty feature I've played with it a bit uh, today and uh, be sure to check it out uh, it works pretty well and um, yeah this is how to change color of an object of an on a picture for example so uh, thanks for watching be sure to leave your request of another photoshop tutorial if you have uh, if you're wondering how to do something in photoshop be sure to leave in the comments so i can make uh, the next uh, photoshop tutorial and uh, thanks for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys later peace